Hey everybody, we're back at TLA talking to my friend, Pat Mora. Hi Pat. Hi Ben. Well hey Pat, can you tell us a little bit about your book? Uh, this is a book about water and how it moves all over the world, fast and slow and rain and frost and snow and all kinds of things. Wow, and I see, is that in more than one language? It is in two languages because I am bilingual. So I speak English and Spanish. Oh, wow. So, so, if you, so if you read in English, you can read the book, and if you read in Spanish, you can read the book. Right. And if you read in both, you can read it twice. Oh, neat. And I bet you get a little bit out of it both times, like a little bit out of the English, a little bit out of the Spanish. You're a smart guy, Ben. Well, I try. Thank you so much. You're so flattering. Go on. <laughs> no, really, go on. You're <laughs> smart and good looking. Oh, I know it. So, Pat, <laughs> so is this your first book or have you written other books too? Oh, I've written a lot of books. Yeah? Yeah. So, what's your favorite thing about being an author? I love words. And, I, and when I'm an author, I get to sit and play words by, with play, words by myself. Oh. So, it's, is it kind of meditative for you? Yes, but sometimes kids think meditative can sound kind of boring. And I don't think writing is boring. I think it's fun. Oh, so you really get a kick out of this. So you like your job. I love it. Wow, that's great. So, Pat, where do you live? I live in Santa Fe, New Mexico, but I was born in El Paso, Texas. Wow, so you went from the frying pan into the fire. Hot well, places I, everywhere. I, no. No? No, Santa Fe is 7,000 feet. It is cold. Really? But it's in the desert, isn't it? Well, it's in what's called high desert. So, about half the year, it's nippy. Huh. Well, I wouldn't have even thought. That's you, so great. Thanks for sharing that, Pat. You and a lot of people don't know that. Well, now all the kids out there know that. Good. Well, thanks for sharing that with them. My pleasure. <laughs> so, Pat, do you have any pets at home? Nope. No pets? You know why? Why is that? One, I travel too much. Two... If I had pets at home, I would talk to them all day long and I'd never get anything done. <laughs> you know, that's funny because I talk to my pet all the time. Are you writing? Nope. That, that's what I mean. Yep, there you go. Well, maybe I'd write more if I stopped talking to my pet. But then he'd be sad. Yeah, I think you better keep your pet. All right. Maybe, <laughs> maybe someday I'll be a writer. But right now I'm just a monster. Yeah, but you're a very cute monster, remember? Oh, jeez. You're so, you're, you're so full of compliments. Yeah, but I love I'm, not, it. I'm not fibbing either. Aww. Well, Pat, <laughs> you really know how to make a monster blush. Good. You, you blush in blue, though. <laughs> so, Pat, we're getting towards the end of the, end of the interview. I wanted to ask you, mm -hmm. and this is the question we ask everybody. Right. So, are you ready? Yeah. What is the grossest thing you can think of? Well, that is not a Pat kind of question, I'll tell you that, Van. Oh. Oh, but I will answer. Okay. And it would be watching somebody vomit. Oh, that is so gross. That's beyond gross. I can't even think about it or I'll get sick. Okay, let's stop thinking about it yeah. then. Let's think about something great. L little brain bleach, um, puppies running with butterflies, and waterfalls and rainbows. Perfect. Awesome. All right, Pat, well, thank you so much for talking to us. Okay, and you know what? What's that? Keep reading. Of course, and you guys out there keep reading. And we'll read Pat's stories at Storytime at the Austin Public Library. Thanks for writing, Pat. Thanks for interviewing me, Van. Well, of course. All right, you ready? Let's say goodbye to the camera, okay? <laughs> okay. Here we go. Bye. Bye.